Oh, what's going on, everybody? I'm back after 10 plus 11 days. I'm back. Got Pops home from Mexico. What a gong show, I tell you. What a gong show. I'm ready to do some racing, though. It's been a while, but I'm back. I hope things are working. I had to rebuild the stream again this morning real fast. So hopefully things are working. I think, I hope. Looks like things are working. All right. So, oh, hope everybody is having a good week and had a uh, good last week. All right. I'm going to do a little practice laps, kill this time, and then uh, get into one of these races here. Oh, feeling rusty, though. Feeling rusty. What's up, Wheezy? How you doing? It's going. I'm back. I'm back in the seat, so I can't complain there. The whole family's home, so... Baby steps still. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a week, that's for sure. Ten days or whatever the heck it was. How you doing, though? Feeling real rusty here. Jackhammer, what's going on? Thanks for popping in, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you all for your support over this last week and a bit. Appreciate it. I really do. It means a lot. It's a tough week in Mexico, that's for sure. Tell you what, though, guys. If you're ever planning on going traveling somewhere, Make sure you got your insurances and all that stuff figured out so that it is bulletproof. Because I tell you what, my dad had his completely bulletproof. And oh my gosh, what a journey that was to try to get him home. Emery's, what's going on? But yeah, if you ever go traveling anywhere, make sure you got medivac on your uh, insurance policies because... It is a gong show. Absolute gong show. My sister, what a champ. What's up, Mac? How you doing? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Finally back. I guess I should jump over. Had to rebuild the stream this morning, too, because the thing didn't like being shut off for that long, I guess. So hopefully everything's working well. But yeah, what a joke. My sister left the hospital on the morning they were supposed to fly out on the medivac. They were on this tiny little plane. It was... Uh, uh, what was it called? King something. Tiny, tiny little plane. Anyway, they drove... My sister left the condo at 5.30 in the morning, got to the hospital at 6 in the morning. They were supposed to leave that hospital in Puerto Vallarta at 7 a.m. They didn't leave till 8.30. Then they had to jump in an ambulance, drive three hours into the mountains to a little place called Topeak because that's the only place that plane could land because they didn't have the permits to land in Puerto Vallarta. And then they had a 12 hour journey back home to Edmonton. My God, what an insane, insane thing to deal with. How's everybody doing though? Oh, my dad had a stroke in Mexico, Mac. He had a stroke in Mexico. Oh God, how many days ago? When did I leave last? Wednesday, I think I flew out. But yeah, he had a stroke in Mexico. He can't move the right side of his body. He can move little bits of fingers. He could like do his hip like that. But uh, dad's pretty much in hospital right now. He's uh, hopefully heading to a stroke rehabilitation, rehabilitation place next week. That's what my mom was saying. So fingers crossed for that. But uh, long road ahead. But man, trying to get him out of Mexico. Holy crap. Is it ever insane? Yeah, we hope so too. He's uh, he's not a happy camper, that's for sure. I don't blame him. But uh, the hospital in Mexico did a pretty decent job of taking care of him for the most parts until it came to nighttime. But uh, 
for the most part, they did a pretty decent job. What's up, official? But I'm going to say it again. If you ever go traveling, make sure you got your insurances right because you do not want to be stuck in a situation in another country where you have to try and figure out how to get out without a medivac on your insurance because the dollars add up insane amounts. I think uh, the first day my parents got into the hospital, they asked for a credit card and there was like a $30,000 charge on the card like that. So be careful. Be careful when you travel. Make sure you got your poop in a group because <laughs> my dad had his poop in a group, a very tight group, and it was still uh, it was crazy, absolutely crazy. <clears throat> but I'm glad to be back. But I am going to have to end this at 12 o'clock because I am going to rip it over to the U of A and go visit my father before I have to pick up kiddos. Yeah, it was pretty crazy, that experience in the hospital in Mexico because there was the same families there. There was a couple families from Boston, it looked like. There was another French family there, but... I don't know how my sister did it. They got, uh, she got on the phone and used her connections and got work done. There's no doubt about that, but holy crap. Crazy thing is about a medivac, at least in Canada here, they will not allow you to medivac someone out of the country unless there's a bed ready and waiting with a doctor ready to accept the patient in your, in Edmonton for us. And that can take a very long time. Luckily, my sister, once again, had connections and was able to get us in, thankfully. Oof, deviated septum surgery. Damn. Damn, damn. How's official doing? All right, I need to get a little bit of driving in here because, my gosh, I am feeling real rusty. I'm in the Porsche. You guys can pick whatever you want for this one. I think there's a pit stop. Do we have to do a pit stop in this one? Do I change tires? Somebody help me. I'm useless. <laughs> Another crazy thing in Mexico too is right on spring break. So holy crap, the prices went up. Something fierce. If we were to fly out on the Thursday, the same day my dad and my sister, my mom and I were flying commercial back, it would have been over $4,000 for the two of us, one-way economy class. Isn't that crazy? The next day it was a little over two. It was a little over two grand for the two of us. But uh, absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. Pit to get clean air, one pit, no tire change. Okay, 4C is best on tires for the race, and pit, no tire change. All right, cool, cool, cool. Thanks, Jackhammer. Well, maybe we'll give that 4C a try next. I'm not expecting much out of the Cayman here. Drummo, what's going on? Yeah, I thought I might be able to get some editing done when I was down in Mexico, but man, no. Just wasn't feeling it at all, so my YouTube algorithm went flatline. <laughs> Do them all in the Lambo? Oh, you love that Lambo, Mac. We can give the Lambo a try, though. I'm down to try anything, so start shooting stuff at me. Let's see how many races we can get in here before uh, I get all the color quits. Hopefully the camera's working well too, because I noticed it's kind of, seems to be working all right. It was kind of glitchy. Like I said, I had to rebuild everything. Sleepy, what's happening? How you doing? I must say thank you to all the S7R guys for the support as well too on Discord. You guys, uh, true champions right there. Thank you everybody that made the comments prayers, kind thoughts, I appreciate it. Big Joe, what's going on? Thanks for the like. You guys helped me through a rough week more than you even know. It was, uh, I got some beach walks in. I can't tell, I'm a little bit tanned. In between, uh, after lunch and the afternoon visit with my pops, I managed to get out and do a beach walk. 
so I did get a little bit of sun. Whoa. You know what crazy thing as I noticed too, I still finished second place for Porsche in that manufacturer's exhibition season with only doing the two rounds. So here's hoping we can continue that luck into the main season. That last two days too. I think Mexico was coming out of me. I think I picked up a bug on the plane or something. Cause I was muscles were all sore, stomach wasn't feeling good, but I'm feeling much better today. Ah, I missed you guys too. I missed you guys too. Oh, screw you and your penalties. Back at it. The 4C slidey, hey? Ah, oh, well, we'll give it a try, see what it's all about. I'm glad I could be back, though. Definitely glad I could be back. I need some normalcy. Normalcy? Need some normality? I can't even talk. Oh, Fanatec update. I don't know if you guys have heard, but uh, seen the new cure at the video where he was talking about Fanatec, but uh, Fanatec's in some hot water. The bank is wanting their money and has given them an ultimatum of till June or something to pay it back. So whether or not that means take it for what it is, I don't know. But uh, Fanatec's in hot water, let's just put it that way. I don't see foresee them going under, but just be wary. But I got an email, well I didn't get any emails because I had my dad's phone when I was down in Mexico. So I, I jumped on the email to Fanatec and I basically said if you don't get a hold of me right away, I'm going to take a video of this thing, it's going to light on fire, it's not going to be a good look on you and it will go viral on YouTube, I can promise you that. They got back to me the next day. So now the next thing they sent was this huge list of stuff of questions and when it happened, this, that and the other thing and then an email right after that saying... We'll be sending you an email once our, our in whatever their remanufacturing department gets your address with shipping information. That was in Mexico when I got that, so it's been a week and a half, so I got to send another email today on that. But who knows, I could send my thing off to get repaired and never see it again, <laughs> the way things are going with Fanatec. So that's where we sit with that one. It's not cool. Not cool. What's up, DMC? How you doing? So, just waiting on another email. When I go to the hospital, I'm going to grab my dad's phone and shoot off another one and say, come on, it should not take this long to get this information out. And hopefully I can get this base sent back. Joker, what's going on? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did let my dad know that he was getting a lot of support from a bunch of people that he didn't even know. But uh, yeah, it's one hell of an experience. It's tough to see your parents like that, that's for sure. Bronco, K-Dub, what's happening? bouncy through there feeling really rusty so I'm not expecting some <laughs> good maneuvers on my part or fast laps but we're gonna try it Right? Ask for a refund to go with Logitech. Yeah, that's well. My dad did ask for a refund on it. That was a few emails back before the whole Mexico thing, but they disregarded it very, very quickly. 
You know what I should do? Should send it back, get the money back, and just not send it back, and pull a fan attack, and just be like, oh, well, my shipping process is a little confused right now. I, uh, I'll get back to you in a month on the email, and then just keep it. Bring out the Suzuki. Oh, yeah, we'll bring it out. We'll do that one. So we're going to do the Porsche here. Then we're going to do the Alpha, then the Lambo, and then we'll bring out the Suzuki. That's what we're going to do. I think that should probably take me close to 12 o'clock-ish. Right, Sleepy? Why not, right? Play their game. She's like, oh, I sent it. What are you talking about? And then just keep it. <laughs> keep it all. Yeah, I don't know if we could do that still, Maxine, is how it's been since, like, my dad purchased that for a Christmas present. That was purchased back in the early December of 2023, so who knows how that works with the credit cards if you get your uh, get them to fight for the money back or whatever. We are in the Cayman right now. Had to go minus four on the four C to make it around the track. So my fast time. All right, all right. Good to know, Bronco. I think that I think we should do that. I'm still I still think I'm going to uh, plug it in. Now that's nice outside. I can put that thing that thing outside. I'll plug it into the wall outside. Put it in a nice little uh, like cookie cookie tray or something. And then just let her burn. See what happens. Why not, right? I got nothing to lose. Yeah, sooner the better. The problem is with that old Mac is Pops can't do the phone calls and do that kind of stuff and deal with his credit card. So that would be putting a job on my sister because she's taking over the responsibility of the, the finances and uh, the monies and all that kind of stuff. So I don't want to put that on my sister. She already did a lot of work, so I... As much as I want to do that, I don't think it's going to happen just because I don't want to cause some work. Live stream it? Yeah, there we go. We'll have like a barbecue live stream out on the back deck. We'll put some burgers up and a, and a DD Pro. <laughs> that could work, right? Yeah, be careful, DMC. You might want to hold off on buying anything Fanatec for a while. There's Kirith put out a video, you can take it for what it is, it kind of is inducing panic in a lot of people, I feel. But he does have some very good points. Fanatec's in a lot of hot water with the banks. Banks want their money back and they're basically saying you gotta till June or something from what I got out of that video for Fanatec to pay the banks back the money. Otherwise, well, Fanatec's done, I suppose, but the bank's got so much invested in it, it's not worthwhile for them to see it end. So hopefully something happens, but I would hold off on Fanatec orders for a little while if I were you. Just till the, the smoke clears a little bit, get a little more information on the whole thing, because... Oh, I said a lap time. Shit. Oops. I loved my DD Pro when it was working. But something about it, lightning itself on fire with the power button off, you know, that's just not, not something I'm real cool with. <laughs> oh yeah, I got this weird email too. Tell me what you guys think of this. I got this weird email. I was talking a little bit about it on uh, Discord, the surprise thing. So I got this slipstream and now we're talking about it. It seems a little too good to be true. It's a little off. It's a little weird. It's from a person, Kaylig Lucas. This is what they write me. Hello there. My name is Kaylig Lucas and I work in the R&D department of the French sim racing brand Thrustmaster. As far as I'm concerned, I thought Thrustmaster was an American company, but anyway, we continue. I've seen your YouTube channel and your skills on GT7 and in real life with your hands and your Fanatec CSL Elite. So I'd like to know if you'd be interested in testing some of the products being developed for our brand. It's a question of getting involved in the development of our products on your own time without payment. To put it simply, we send you prototypes at home and in return you have to provide constructive information in a form to help the product progressed through the various development phases. If you're interested, I'll let you fill in the attached document to get started. In addition, 
Have you already been contacted by, by our marketing department? Question mark. Have you ever been involved or approached by another sim racing brand? Question mark. Best regards. We look forward to hearing from you. And it comes with a PDF for something. I don't know what to think of it. I'm going to call Thrustmaster and forward that email to them or tell them about it just to get some clarification because Slipstream made a very good point that uh, somebody could be trying to hack me or something like that. Who knows? I don't know, but who knows? It was, uh, it was exciting at first when I read it. Then my like real brain started kicking in and I was going, wait a tick. Is this too good to be true? This seems a little odd, but... I think somebody will buy them too, Jackhammer. There's too much money involved. Like, think of the sponsorship that they have out there in all of these racing leagues and how many cars do you see with that Fanatec band across their windshield, right? Here's my question. That Logitech uh, direct drive wheel, does that have load cell pedals? I can't remember. So far, what's going on? Well, they would have my address. That would, that would be my shipping address, and that, that would be about it. Joker thinks it's legit. Yeah, DMC, that's the thing. Like, Slipstream really got me thinking on it, because I was kind of thinking about it, but then it was like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I'll have to figure something out. All these names. Good to see you again. What's up, everybody? Oh, you're in here, Mac? I got you. I said hello, I think. Pretty sure it has load cell. What's up, Shuffles? How you doing? I'm back. Stay far away from me, though, because I am going to be a menace on this track. It's been well over 10 days since I've been on the wheel. Yeah, that's what I think, too. It could be cool, because... Uh... But isn't Thrustmaster an American company? It's not French, is it? Starting in 14th. I don't know where I'll have to put the brake balance. DD Pro is still being a paperweight. Dad is home. He's in a hospital. He's in the stroke recovery area of the U of A. And hopefully he'll be moving to a longer term rehabilitation center within a week. But uh, Dad's in a rough spot. He can't, uh, he's like, he's got to pick his arm up and he can't really move his leg and stuff. So he's pretty bedridden. He doesn't like that, but he's home. That's the biggest thing. Could have been a completely different scenario. Instead of bringing home Grandpa, we could have been trying to bring him home a completely different way. So, thankful for that. You thought it was a Japanese company? I did a quick Google on it, and it said American, but I don't know. I don't know enough about Thrustmaster. But I would like to know more if it's a legit deal. <laughs> That's for sure. I don't think Thrustmaster has load cell stuff though, do they? I guess me being alongside him didn't matter at all there. Fair enough. Thanks Apollo. Gotta get aggressive in this race, apparently, eh? What's going on? Oh, can't go for the pits now. Fuck that up.
focus, Joe. Remember how to drive. Yeah, that's what I thought, U.S. company. Yeah, so that, that part is kind of confusing with the French Thrustmaster thing, so... But, if it was a scam, you'd think they'd be a little smarter than that. That's the other thing I was thinking too, so... I don't know, this is weird. Hey, it's Chunky! Or JP, wearing a Chunky livery. So Yeah, if you can avoid traffic and drive better than I'm doing, that's for sure. I'm driving terrible right now. It's been a while. I got to shake off the cobwebs here. I apologize to anybody I ram into. Damon doesn't feel too bad. What's up, Buns? How you doing? Ah, it feels good to be back on this thing, though, racing again. Really? Okay. Good to know, Frank Bronco. Good to know. Looks like I will have to. They didn't send me any links to click. It was just like a little form that I had to fill out with my name, address, nothing, not like a social security number or anything like that. So, I don't know. Maybe it is legit. If it is legit, that would be pretty damn cool. Just got to be careful with these kind of things, though, I suppose. I don't think I have a channel worth hacking into, though. That's my other thing, too. I'm like, I mm, don't think I'm big enough for that. <laughs> Maybe Rory kind of channel. Sorry there, Gremlin.
rubber's not going too fast on this one. Definitely need a little more rear brake balance like I thought in the beginning. I shouldn't have put it to the front. No tires, no fuel. Come on, let me out. Wow, that's a long pit lane, eh? Come on, holy crap, that's terrible little. So long. Got a third in the swift? Nice. Alright, let's see if we can catch up a little bit here. One freebie. Oh, okay, all right, cool. Oh, no. No, no, no. So it is taken over by a French company then. In 1999, they took it over a long time ago. All right, all right. It seemed like a genuine email. The vibe I got from it initially seemed genuine. But what does that mean in this day and age, right? It's terrible we have to think like that, but... City, what's going on? Thank you, thank you. I am definitely glad to be back. Couldn't get out of Mexico fast enough. No, oh, little Damon. No, I could do better with this car. Flight sim stuff for Tristan, he would absolutely love that. front tire now. Just need more options for uh, 
console racing, especially with the PlayStation. Sony has got to stop being so weird with their chips. Let more people have them. Yes, Friday lobbies are still a go. 100%. Take it. Thank you. Boys with the 777 in their name are getting a little rowdy. <laughs> yep. Bamo, what's going on? You're back at work Fridays? Oh, dang. <laughs> I have been in Mexico for an emergency trip. My uh, parents were down there. My dad ended up having a stroke. What is that like? 12, 15 days ago, I don't even know, like my time's been all off, but dad had a stroke, pretty severe stroke, he can't move his right side of his body. So my sister and I went down to help my mom and get him back home, which was insane. For anybody that's just tuning in, if you're going traveling somewhere, please make sure you got Medivac on your insurance policies because most of the time you go on a vacation, everything's tickety-boo, everything goes smooth, but that worst case Ontario moment, if you need it, you need it, you need it bad. And even when you have all your ducks in a row, it's still so difficult to go through that process. It's just insane. Will do, Bama, thank you. Dad's not liking it. My dad is like Mr. Independent, do everything, and for him to have even the ability to write taken away is a pretty big deal for him. Doesn't like it. But we did manage to get him in a wheelchair a couple times when we were there in Mexico and wheeled him out to the courtyard and got some sun and stuff. But overall, he's just very tired. But that journey they had home, my god. What an absolute joke. The nurse that came from Vancouver to fly down, fly with my sister back on the medivac, she was excellent though. Absolutely amazing person. But that whole situation with however they find the medivacs, I believe the process they go through is a company in Canada basically puts out a bid to these medevac companies and obviously the cheapest one wins because they were flying home on a little twin turbo prop flying coffin they had to stop in albuquerque and calgary and yeah yeah me too Emery's. i'm going to visit popped after this stream so go say what's up to him i have to get some information from him i have to go pick up some watches for him that he had dropped off at this European watch place. Apparently he's got this old watch from his his great grandpa I believe. It's like a well over a hundred year old Seiko watch that he's had redone. I don't know anything about Seiko. All I know is it's a Japanese company. They've <laughs> made watches for a long time. But I gotta pick up this Rolex too and a bunch of one other watch.
Come on, guys, do something on this last corner here. Come on, give me a freebie. But yeah, it looks like now the uh, condo is probably going to be sold. The uh, cabin we rent in the summertime for two weeks, we're not going to be doing that anymore. So it's a lot of big changes, a lot of big changes for kids, the grandkids. Grandpa still doesn't want to see the grandkids in the hospital, so I don't blame him on that one. Mike Hunt, please come to the main office. <laughs> What's up, Fry? How you doing? Why don't you put something up? Make me laugh. Creeper, yeah. There's a lot of people. There's top players. Top split drivers that are on controllers. If you can do the controller and do it well, yeah, do it. Definitely. Yeah, Fry's your controller guy right there. Where does Sugar end up? Nice in fourth place. Good job, Shuffles. Good job. Uh, what is this? I don't want to get copyrighted. All right, so the alpha. Everybody seems to be picking that alpha, hey? Why is nothing popping up? Oh, it's the whole thing. Is that the whole video? I can't watch the whole video right now. You beat Ando in qualifying? Nice, 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 nice. Well done. All right, let's jump in the alpha then. It's 30 seconds long, was it? Hold up, wait a minute. Uh, garage. Where is it? Alpha. I know I got an alpha. There it is. Oof, what an ugly livery. <laughs> what an ugly livery. Looks like I gotta buy tires. He won the race by 13 seconds. Tire wear is minimal. And you are saying um, brake balance minus four for this one? It. No, I can't even find it. General, there it is. No, we haven't been changing tires. That was the first race we did with that Porsche. Let's give me the whole length video here. Just give me the hour and a half. I'll watch it when I'm, uh, Chris makes a funny. Oh, no, it is 24 seconds. That's weird. It was showing an hour and a half. Oh, I can't listen to it. I'm going to get copyrighted if I listen to it on stream. <laughs> I'll have to listen to it after. It's an extra almost five seconds, eh? If you could do 52s in the race, you could change tires and not drive the 4C. All right, all right, fair enough. We're going to take the Lamborghini after this one. I know I can get my time down. That 54 wasn't uh, very trying very hard. I don't know if we should set a time or not. A better time. But... A little slidey, this thing, eh? What's up, Ori? How you doing? I'm back. Ten plus days of not playing. A 
10 plus days of not doing anything on YouTube, except for some community posts. Oh, the Suzuki Swift Sports down in Mexico, though. I tell you what, they're everywhere. <laughs> I saw one I couldn't get a picture of. It was all black. The guy had it had some little rims on it. It was pretty slick looking, not gonna lie. Those yachts. Oh my gosh, Simon, thanks for the subscription. Welcome to the Sam Squanch family. Oh, everybody's using the Super to set a quality and then race with the Citroen or the 4C. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I wonder how much it's going to cost to park at the hospital. That's going to be another extra cost now, too. I want to visit Pops all the time. Yes, welcome, Simon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I haven't tried the Jag at all. The Jag was up there, though. I saw a few of them up in the top 100. Yeah, it definitely sucks, Shuffles, but uh, he's home now at least. That's the main thing. Getting him home from Mexico. Wow, what a gong show that was. Absolute gong show. Even my mom and I getting home to the airport for the end of spring break at that Puerto Vallarta airport. It's not a very big airport, and it was just seething with people. It's just so many. It's gross. I hate to say it for me personally, no destination anywhere is worth waiting in lines at airports and dealing with that kind of crap. I hate it. But dad's back home, mom's home, sister's home, everybody's home, we're good. Now the journey for my dad's recovery begins. Hopefully he can recover. A little bit at least anyway. The crazy thing is though, my dad, uh, my dad's dad, my grandpa Donovan, I never met him. But uh, he suffered from stroke as well, too, and lost the right side of his body as well. But he, uh, he turned to the alcohol pretty hard after that. So my dad's comparing himself to his dad. And I can't help but think, too, I'm like, shit, if it's running down the line like that, I'm going to start taking care of myself more. Crazy thing is though, my dad takes care of himself. He rides his bike crazy. He's Mr. Fit, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't do any of that kind of stuff. But it's the, that valve in his heart, my sister thinks, that's uh, causing these clots and these strokes. Thanks, Octane. I appreciate it. Tell you what, Octane, your, uh, your shorts were popping up on my feet quite a bit when I was down in Mexico looking at stuff. I spent a lot of time just uh, endless scrolling on shorts. Yeah, it was a, it was an experience. It took a lot out of me, that's for sure. I came back and I was just exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. Still am a little tired from it, but i to move on. Get going again. I did buy the Toyota GT one. I did, I did. The race car one. Unless, is there another one I gotta buy too? I only bought it on my main account. I should probably buy it on this account too. Or turn, I turned 42 now, so I could drink it. Ah, there you go, there you go. Yeah, no heart attacks, thankfully, in the history of my family, but uh, apparently stroke is, but 
my dad's dad, he was a drinker and a smoker as well, too. So, I don't drink. Definitely have smoked, though. <laughs> Hopefully I can catch up to you guys a little bit. I was, uh, I did some crashing into people. I wasn't driving very well there. Let's see what this Alpha does though. Bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> it felt pretty smooth there. Oh, starting in 11th with my ugly ass Hot Wheels livery. Got everybody up in here. <gasps> oh. Skiing. Man, skiing here will give you a heart attack when you see the price of it. Jesus. <laughs> insane. Yeah, those yachts that uh, the marina was pretty close to where the hospital was. We had to drive by it. Those yachts, their father and son billionaire, well, obviously billionaire, but these yachts were freaking huge, man. Like, that helicopter on the front of the son's one was at least a four to six person helicopter, and it looked like a toy on the front of this, on the front of this boat. Like, they were easily well over three, four hundred feet, four stories high, like, huge. Billionaire money. All right, everybody in the 4C and a Supra. Oh, there's a Ferrari. Let's see up here. See anything being that close to shuffles there? Whew. Alpha does feel pretty good. I can see why people are driving this thing. Probably should have gone into the pits there. Oh well. Oh well, I'll have some fun. Let's 
What's up, Shandal? How you doing? Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday, right? I hope so. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be back. Glad to be back. Alright, you go. Frizzy, what's going on? Sorry I can't read that chat as quick as I want to. Welcome, thanks for tuning in. Definitely feels good to be back on the machine though. Don't do that, don't do that. Bound to do that at least once. <clears throat> Hit that grass and you're screwed. Well, it's a big boo boo. I'm good, I'm good. I'm glad to be back on the rig. Glad to be back on the rig, get some routine back in the life here. Definitely looking forward to going and seeing Pops, see how he's doing. Tell you what though, that Mexico trip was an actual vacation. It would have had perfect weather the whole time. It's like 30, 30 degrees and just clear and sunny every day. I was wearing hoodies and jeans though most of the time. Was, the hospital was like a flipping refrigerator. So when I had to walk to the Walmart to get some stuff. <laughs> People were looking at me funny, like, who's this white guy in the middle of Mexico dressed in a hoodie and jeans? It was cold in the hospital, I'll tell you. My dad liked to keep his room like a flipping icebox. I was just like hood up, freezing in there. <laughs> Had some good tacos, so got some good tacos down there. <laughs> no, it was that Thrustmaster thing. I still got to figure out if it's uh, real or not, though. I need to reach out to Thrustmaster, see if it was a legitimate uh, offer they're giving me, or if it's just somebody trying to scam me for something. I've been interested in cars my whole life. I was a mechanic for 17 years. Always loved cars, go-karting, all that stuff. No longer a mechanic anymore because my hands gave out on me. So now I do this in hopes that one day maybe I can do this full time. <laughs> right now it's just for entertainment purposes. But I've always loved cars, always been into them.
Alright, I think... Why not go for the pits now? Yeah, I think I would think on that. Yeah, oops, uh, I screwed that up. The thing is, in my dad's room in Mexico, he had to. Get, well, they had personalized AC in each room, so my dad wanted it set at like 20. Oh my God, it's just freezy, freezy. You want to be a mechanic, eh? Well, if you go to be a mechanic, do not work. On the dealership, ah, shit. Don't work at the dealership level because the warranty, the way warranty things are going with cars, it, it doesn't pay very well. If you get into a smaller shop or start your own shop, that's where the money is. What's up, Kiwi? How you doing? I haven't driven it, but I bought it. Man, I looked at that penalty, that pit lane line the wrong way, and it gave me a penalty. What a Dirty, dirty, dirty. How's Kiwi doing? All as good as it can be. Dad's back at home now. So that's the biggest thing. Well, not at home. He's in the hospital still, but he's not stuck in a Mexican hospital. We're back with shuffles! Canadian tire pay is pretty decent from what I heard for hourly rates. The thing is when you're at the dealership level when you have to deal with warranty stuff like it they screw you so bad on warranty as a flat rate mechanic it's not even funny. Like what you would charge a customer to do it regular is usually cut in half with warranty times. You never really make money on warranty. And the way cars are going now, everything's warranty this, warranty that. It's just brutal. That's my advice and take care of your hands. Take care of your hands. You don't want to end up with hands like mine, I'll tell you that. But I loved it. I like, I like taking cars apart, putting them back together. But like when I was doing the engines on those Titans, doing the short blocks on those things, I loved that job. I could book my own work, rip an engine apart, put it back together, move on to the next one. nice though <laughs> you got to do that stretch your hands anytime you can use like a the proper tool for the job do it don't sacrifice your hands Tell them. <laughs> I thought the humidity in Mexico would help my hands too but holy crap it had the reverse effect my hands hurt the whole time I was down there and I wasn't even really doing anything with them Catch shuffles here. You're going too fast, shuffles. Slow down.
break me off a piece of that Twix. Guess that'd be a Kit Kat bar. I love Twix. Twix is one of my favorite chocolate bars. to go. Man, if I didn't give myself that three second penalty, plus forgetting to change the tires and say no fuel, plus at least this is two seconds there. Oh yeah, frozen Twix? Hell yeah. Alpha takes that corner so nice. You know it, Kiwi. We're definitely doing open lobby Fridays. Definitely are. Oh, Joe, what are you doing? We are, we are. I'm looking forward to some open lobby fun. What's up, Cole? How you doing? Thank you, thank you. Glad to be back. Definitely glad to be back. Sounds good, Mac. Sounds good. Well, I'm not disappearing to another country for a while, so <laughs> we're good. We'll have chances. Take that last spot there. Why not? Well, at least we got into the top ten. Take it. It's a little Lamborghini time now. Good race there, Shuffles, that was fun. Yeah, my hands are sore from doing this already. All right, well, 
Lamborghini time. And then the Super Swift. Brake balance is four or five to the rear. Okay, thank you, Mac. Thank you, thank you. Should probably let that dog outside soon, too. Oh, my dog. I missed my dog so much, too. Oh, my gosh. I missed Mika. She went absolutely ballistic when I came home. The couch upstairs. Um, the girlfriend was sitting up there. Knew I was coming home or whatever. And uh, as soon as the garage door opened, Mika launched herself from the couch to the stairs, which is like a good 15-foot jump. <laughs> She was happy to have me home, that's for sure. It's amazing how much I miss a pooch. It's crazy. Try the Citron out? Will do. Will do. Roadster Touring? No, I don't have one, Kiwi. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought it was frozen. Yeah, that'll do that, hey? <laughs> turn one will do it, that's for sure. If you, The last turn and the first turn. If you mess those ones up, it'll slow you down quite a bit. Man, I gotta, I probably have to go through all these cars and see what needs um, oil changes. We did get some news on the DD. When I was in Mexico, I had uh, access to my dad's phone and his email so I sent off an email to them basically saying I'm going to videotape the DD Pro lighting on fire I promise you will go viral da 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 next day they sent me a reply with uh, email saying basically the process for the remanufactured thing is a go through see if I can find it here below you'll find the next step steps to your process to process your RMA you will receive the return label in a separate email from our warehouse team. Haven't got that email yet, but I'm going to go visit Dad, see if I grab his phone and do it again. But Once your address data is transferred to our warehouse by our repair team, you'll receive a prepaid shipping label soon after in a separate email. Haven't got that either. Once you receive the label, we kindly ask you to send us the defective product for repair in accordance with the instructions listed below. And anyway... Yeah, that's about where we're sitting now with Fanatec. Still an absolute joke is what it is. But hopefully this whole turnover with all this Fanatec shenanigans, something will happen. All right, I'm going to go let this dog outside real quick. I will be back. Give me a few minutes.
I'm back. Should just send you a new one. Yeah, that's what I think too. And I think I'm going to put that in my email too. With the amount of time this has taken and the bunch of BS that's gone on, they should just send me a new one. And they should send me back the one they repair too, as far as I'm concerned. Make a happy customer, right? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Most of the things I've read, nobody's had problems with the DD Pros. Maybe it was just the Christmas batch that they passed out. I have no idea. But uh, I got with mine, that's for sure. The new DD, they seems to be really good. Yeah, see, Mac, well, I got that interesting email from Thrustmaster, too, so you never know if that's legit. Maybe I'll start receiving some Thrustmaster product to try out, too. I don't know if their stuff's any good for this or not, but definitely need to try other things besides Fanatec, it seems like, because unless there's a huge turnaround with the way they do business, it's not going to end well, that's for sure. And on the way home from Mexico, too, I got this funny. My mom and I were sitting together on the plane. So I was sat window seat, and then I had like a maybe a two year old beside me, and then his dad. And then in my mom's road, my mom was on the aisle, and then the mom and a four year old was at, on the inside seats or whatever. And it was the whole family. Oh, this poor dad, man. He did well. I'll give him that. He did well because his little man. Was not a happy camper on that plane. As soon as the seatbelt went on, scary, scary, scary. <laughs> the kid wouldn't sleep. The dad caught a headbutt in the middle of the flight and cut his lip. <laughs> and those poor bastards, once they landed in Edmonton, they had to get on another plane to fly to Calgary. <sighs> Traveling with kids, man, I tell you. That little boy was not a happy camper on the plane. You like your T300? The Thrustmaster uh, customer service isn't great. Maybe it's just across the board with all these frickin' sim companies. They've all grown too big since COVID. Now they can't keep up. But you think Thrustmaster would be trying to develop something to compete with the DD Pro and all those things too, so you never know. I hope it's a real email. That'd be pretty darn cool. Get a bit of sponsorship, well, unpaid sponsorship. Fanatec wheel and pedal, but I'm gonna wait about another month, maybe two, and then I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna buy one. I would, yeah, I would wait, uh, Octane. Uh, look up, Kirith just put a video out about Fanatec. You might wanna watch that, and you may wanna wait a little longer than a month, depending on what happens with them, because, uh, little bit of a clickbaity one like he always does but made me click on it and uh, it induces a little bit of fear in people that have Fanatec product out or have Fanatec product but uh, I'd say watch the video because it's uh, yeah it's trouble things aren't looking good for Fanatec right now that's for sure I think the banks have way too much invested in them though to let that company die Dad's in the hospital. He's uh, about the same as he was when we went down there. He uh, very, very, very limited uh, movement on the right side of his body. He's got a little bit of slurred speech. He's having a hard time swallowing the hiccups. The hiccups for that poor man. Something in the stroke. They think it was a spinal column stroke or something. That's what my sister was saying. So something in there affected the nerve for his hiccups. And he's got the hiccups like you would not believe. They sound painful. But uh, hopefully within the week or next week, he's going to be sent to another place to the stroke rehab facility. And uh, he'll be there for a while, unfortunately. He's not uh, 
going home anytime soon. When that does happen, it uh, big changes are going to have to happen. Like you won't be able to navigate the house. Like my parents have a bungalow, but their TV and everything in the basement. So yeah, so things are going to have to things are going to happen. That's for sure. But who knows what? I gotta probably sell the truck. I gotta possibly sell another vehicle. If my dad's in a wheelchair, then we got to get rid of all the parents' vehicles and get one of those vans with the wheelchair ramp. But I know my dad, and he's made it pretty clear. They have this thing here in Canada called MAID. It's medically assist, medical assistance in death. And he has made it very clear that um, that is on his mind as well too. So trying to keep his hopes up and keep his thoughts positive. But if I was him and in that situation, I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough call. It's a tough call, but just got to go day by day. Not even that, Mac. The banks are asking for their money back from them. They've given them an ultimatum. They want their millions back. So I think in the curious video, he said, I think it was June, end of June or beginning of June, they have till start paying stuff back. If not, then yeah, who knows what happens. All right, let's try this Lambo. Yeah, somebody's in the bus, and Mustang looks like it's going pretty good too. penalties Joseph never don't change no fuel all right here we go sounds good octane I still think Fanatec is a good good choice I really love I love this CSL base, I love this wheel, but uh, the DD Pro, <laughs> I'm a little jaded on that one, but if I had it and it was working, I'd be using it and I would be enjoying it. Thank you, Gary. Whoa, pay attention, Joseph. Thank you, Gary. Lamborghini does feel pretty nice. A 
have to read that one in a second, Buns. Man, I've been looking for used ones online, too. I've been looking for used ones, because I still want a direct drive so bad, I miss it. Yeah. I definitely got a bad one, that's for sure. close to hitting that wall. <laughs> so you got some free product? Nice. Oh, Joseph, what are you doing? Yeah, I think the email I'm going to send them, I'm going to try and convince them to send me just a new one and then send this other one back they can do whatever the hell they want with it but uh, maybe my shipping processes will be delayed as well too <laughs> jackhammer's back Danny, what's going on? Madness, what's happening? Thank you all for tuning in. Appreciate it. I really, really do. I missed racing for you guys. I didn't even watch the last two rounds of the manufacturers on YouTube because it was too hard for me to watch. I wanted to race it so bad. some flying. <laughs> Bust out the mount panorama again. This thing definitely chews up those front tires though, eh? Oh, 
You had a bauble. Oh, what? What? Come on. That's some bullshit. I didn't even see where I was off track there. Somebody up there in the M3. Or is that the M4? M4. You're lucky, Beck. You're lucky. <laughs> I just gave himself a three second penalty in the pits for sure there. Dub force. Should have boarded. Is it a good race pace? 53 fours? Ah, that wasn't very good. are hard to catch. The tires. Let's see that Alpha's tire where it's kicking in now. See the difference in that first corner on that front left. Oh, you watched the Kirith video? What do you think of it? Oh, what am I doing? Woo! Hold on, Joe, hold on. He's got a penalty. I'm driving like a fool. Oh, we'll get him. Maybe we will. Yeah, we will. Yeah, right? Very dangerous for Fanatec. I don't know where he gets his information from, but... He's definitely getting it from somewhere.
the Swift is just gonna chew through the tires. Might have to do a tire swap with the Swifty. They buffed it. I think they did get a little upgrade from the last, whatever they did last time. They didn't do another one while it was gone, did they? Another pop update? Well, we're gonna find out, so we're gonna jump in the Swifty next. Yeah, that was just before I left, wasn't it? My front tires mooched. so much. He slowed down so much there. That was weird. Wishful thinking on that dive bomb there, sir. It's a drag race. <laughs> All right, got a podium right on. I hope the quality control is better in six months. Maybe I'll have my base back by then. Yeah, I killed that front left tire. <laughs> it was done. It was done, done. I'll take that third though. Not bad, not bad at all. I think if I had my the Fanatec thing with my email, I'd be putting a lot more pressure on them. Which might help out, but not having the ability to get the emails with my dad buying it and all that is probably slowing my process down quite a bit. But either way, it's unacceptable to take two weeks to get a reply back. That's just silly. Oh yeah, that's right, Kiwi. I was thinking about you, Kiwi. Next time you go vacationing, make sure you got proper traveler's insurance that has a medivac, just in case you get some worst case Ontario happening. Because I tell you what, this has made me rethink everything. Like if the kid's mom ever wants to take him on a vacation somewhere, she doesn't have the paperwork and the insurance, I, I, I probably won't sign off on the kids leaving. Because I tell you, you do not want to get stuck in another country. 
without the proper insurance and all that kind of stuff. Where's my reel? There it is. The 7-Up Swifty. But you had a good time? I looked it up on a map. Looks like a beautiful place to go. <laughs> oh, it sounds like a place my dad would absolutely love then, Kiwi. <laughs> Speedy Lee, accept, accepted. All right, let's see what the Swifty can do around here. What time is it 11 o'clock? I gotta be out of here right at 12. I gotta book it to the hospital. I haven't been able to visit him since he's been back because I had that little bug or whatever when I came back from Mexico and then I got the kids, so I have to go visit him. Swifty. <laughs> oh, silly penalties, though. limit there. Come on. Got a guy break here. Oh yeah, that's right. Swifty does unusual things in there. It'll bite ya. <laughs> Good old Rick and Morty. Going back home in summer, first time in nine years. Wow. Well, that's exciting. What's making you go back the first time in nine years? Oh my god. Can't even make it through the first corner. Brothers gets better. Oh, don't want health issues for anybody. Sometimes it takes some pretty hardcore things to get people back together, though, that's for sure. It's like my sister and I took a beach walk together one of the days, and it's probably the first time we've ever done that in our lives. My sister and I are crazy, crazy close. We don't hate each other, but we're not calling each other every day either. Having this happen to Dad has definitely um, brought us closer together.
you never know what's around the corner so people you love and care about and tell them spend that time with them enjoy that time you never know you never know Alright, I'm ready for some swifty action here. Been living on Gatorade the last couple days to rehydrate myself. Yesterday, all I ate was bread all day. <laughs> Although on Easter, happy Easter everybody by the way. Missed that one, uh, Easter dinner of... Obviously, my mom would be alone. My sister was alone because her husband and kids are in Peachland for uh, spring break. So I had the kids. I was like, well, you know what, Mom? Andy, why don't you guys come over for dinner on Sunday? Just do something easy. We're going to make chicken pot pie. Girlfriend is going to make chicken pot pie and a vegetable pot pie for my sister. So we get to the grocery store with that grocery list in mind. And we get to the section, the meat section. There's no chicken in the goddamn building. So I'm like, well, shit, what am I going to do now? Oh, well, <laughs> I just invited people over for Easter dinner, cooking for six people. I've never really done a big Easter dinner or anything like that. So I was like, hmm, what do we do? And there was a ham sitting right there. So I was like, all right, ham it is. Well, I figured out how to make a ham and did some green beans with bacon and stuff and some other things. And, you know, it was an absolute hit. The ham turned out exceptional, I must say. I had a I had a Brown's Caramel Root Beer. I dumped that in there, made a nice spicy glaze for it. It was pretty decent. Kids liked it. Mom liked it. Everybody seemed to like it. My sister even said it looked good. She doesn't do anything with meat. That's true, Gary. Oh, yeah, Kiwi. That's a, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah, there is hope for the strokes. Like like we did, like we saw some definite movement. Like he can do the ankle. If you push back on his foot, he can kind of push down with his ankle. His hip, like his hip, like if you go to kick somebody like that, he can push back like that, but he can't lift his leg up. Um, his shoulder seems to have some movement to it, but the rest of his arm's pretty dead. Yeah, it's uh, he's got a long road to recovery. There's no doubt about that. And here's hoping, but have a feeling it's probably just a matter of time before another one comes with this valve in his heart and all this stuff. So there's not much they could do for him for blood thinners and things like that with these strokes and clots because he's already on these blood thinners for um, his uh, valve in his heart. Really, Jackhammer? That's crazy. Yeah, it was the right side. Yeah, it was the right side. It's crazy though, like he's got his brain, man, like, holy crap, he knows everything still, everything, like watching him go through the phone calls when he was in Mexico trying to like just tie up loose ends and things like that and talking to his lifetime old friends and things like that, that was really hard to see because he, he got pretty emotional with those kind of things, and it's understandable, but he was almost talking like it was his goodbyes, you know, and it wasn't really goodbyes, which most people got that from the phone calls and stuff but man it's hard to see your parents like that it's hard to see anybody you love in a situation that's life-changing like that sounds good mac i might still be on but uh i'll be ending this thing pretty promptly at 12 o'clock i don't have much time to get to the hospital and then go pick up kids but have a good meeting sir Ooh. <clears throat> Swifty time.
What's up, Beast? How you doing? Alright, put that to the back. Alright, I've missed you, Swifty. Taunting me while I'm in Mexico with all you little Swifty sports cruising around. They don't look half bad in real life. They had a cool little wing on that, little arrow on there. I'll get one. Suzuki. We need one of these in North America. Preferably a sponsored one. <laughs> All right, let's see how bad these tires get. I missed you, Swifty. Oh, how I missed you. Just gotta be careful picking up penalties running wide on understeer. Of course I'm in the Swift, you had to give it at least one go, right? Let's see if we can get Swifty up there, you know? Had Lester in a race on Monday. I have to read the rest of that sentence in a second. Yeah, he is very quick. He is a very, very, very fast driver. There's a reason why he's gone to the world tour almost every single time. The man is quick. That's why I'm never first place in Edmonton or in Alberta for any of these events because Lester is in the same city as me. Like there's one time I had him beat in some exhibition season, but yeah. Lester's good people though, very nice guy. Reschedule, nice, Max back. Yeah, Lester and I have had some real good races at the go kart track here. We're always like tied together with a two link chain doing qualifying laps on each other's bumpers like it's just so much fun to, fun to race in real life I can beat him in real life close your meeting with Fanatec <laughs>
to catch these guys. Come on, Swifty. I risk it don't go for a tire change I don't know what's wrong with your pedals beast I'm going to risk it. I'm not going to change the tires. Feels pretty good around here. That was a little scary. <laughs> Well, I am getting a little wear on the rear, so they got to be warming up a little bit. They don't feel like they're cold like other races. Rear tires are feeling okay. This is where it'll get you, though, if they're cold. Swifty. Oh, 
Oh, penalty for Sean. That has to be a penalty. Close enough. I'd give it a try. Sean, let's go. Feels like the rear tires are holding heat. Not going to be much left for that front left though. That's a for show. Sure. Ooh, that was almost a penalty. out there fry don't work too hard come on this pit lane's painful go So the Swifty can hold its tires. <laughs> yeah, they do. They don't feel as sketchy on this though. Well, at least not yet. Wait for that last turn and the first turn.
Definitely doesn't have as much understeery push as the Lambo does. Oh, you raised Super G. Yeah, you did. Didn't you race a bunch of them and whoop them all? Oh, we're so close to getting these two here. Did you end up in a video beating him there, Kiwi? I'll have to watch that back. If you are. What's up, GTI? How you doing? Can we get an opportunistic podium here? I don't know. Popping in for lunch? Nice, nice, nice. I think we got time for one more race and then I gotta call it quits and I'm gonna go. Visit Pops in the hospital. Oh, so close to a podium for the Swift. So close. So, so close. Races have been pretty decent today. It's taken me a while to get back into the rhythm here, but I think I'm back in the zone now. Yep, she definitely was screaming for help, but the Suzuki didn't feel too bad. All right, we got time for one more race, guys. What's it gonna be? I'd like to see Genesis and Alpha 155 here as well. Mac, which one would you rather see first, the Genesis or the 155? What's up, Tom? How you doing? I think I'm back in the groove. I found the Swifty groove pretty quick. Felt good. Moving on up. Genesis, all right, will do. All right, so last race of the day here. Last race and then I gotta bounce. Do I own a Genesis? I must have one, right? Maybe I don't, maybe I don't. There it is, another seven up car. Couldn't keep the Sylvia straight? Is it a tough one to drive? Yeah, Tom, I had an emergency trip to Mexico. My dad uh, had a medical emergency down there, so we had to hop on a plane, and uh, my sister and I hopped on a plane, flew down there, and tried to get him back home. But uh, everybody's home now. The road to recovery has started, so that's why I went MIA for, uh, what, 10, 11 days? Oh, no worries, Tom. No worries. I'm glad all you guys were here for me when I came back. <laughs> and you, most of you guys were there for me while I was gone as well, too. So I really appreciate all the kind comments and the, the prayers and the thoughts for Dad. I really do appreciate it. Ba -ba -ba. Ah, which... What have I used today? We used the... Cayman to begin with. That one's pretty rough on tires. It wasn't too bad though. We used the Alpha. Alpha's fast. Then we used the Lamborghini. It's pretty decent. Tires are a little sketchy by the end. And then we got in the Swifty. So far I'm liking the Swifty the most. <laughs> New daily races for two weeks. Timestamp. Perfect Kiwi. 
Man, I was missing out on spa last week. Oh man, was that ever painful to see the dynamic weather with the spa. That's like my jam. That is what I live for. Wish I could have done that one. Oh well. McLaren and Citroen are great on tires. Let's give them a go tomorrow. I'm not really feeling Daily B this week with Catalonia anyway, so probably be messing around with this one tomorrow. And then Friday we'll do some open lobbies. It was 20 laps? Oh, man. I didn't realize it was that long. Like I said, I was staying away from a lot of the YouTube videos on Gran Turismo because it was... Uh, Painful. I was missing it. Fifty minutes race. Oh yeah, man, I would have absolutely loved that. This Genesis isn't feeling so bad around here either. Just a DR grind. Yeah, man, that's what I want, though. That would have been a blast. A little bit of rain, spa, GR3. Hell yeah. I definitely missed out last week, that's for sure. But priorities. This game is definitely not as important as my father, that's for sure. so bad bring back Daytona yeah that was a good one too can you bring back spa with rain for me please I just want to try it you learned you suck in the rain <laughs> I love racing in the rain was it too? I think the one video, I think it was Tijani posted something. I think I saw a tweet or something like that. Where he's like, I figured out I don't like the rain. I'm not doing it anymore. Da 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 da. You know what else I thought was funny down in Mexico? The plastic straws. They're everywhere. Everywhere in Mexico. The home of the turtles. <laughs> turtles actually crawl up on the beach <laughs> where our condo is. And they got plastic straws everywhere. I don't think it's about the turtles, guys. <laughs> I think I found one restaurant that didn't have any straws. They were just against straws completely. I was like, why no straws? He's like, oh, we're right next to the ocean the marina, but uh, <laughs> every other place was plastic straws galore. And the other thing that was very impressive about the beach in Mexico, the public beach in Mexico, so clean. Like there was the occasional bits of plastic and glass washed up from the ocean, but no cigarette butts on the beach, no pop cans, no paper, no, there was hardly any garbage anywhere on that beach. And that beach, I walked it, it was a, it's a two and a half kilometer walk in one way and then obviously the same back, but super clean. I was so, so surprised by that. 
Straw races. <laughs> yeah, the biggest thing I find with racing in the rain is your initial input on your brake. You do not want to jab it so hard. It's like if you hit it really hard and you hear that shh, uh, your tires locking up and sliding, you don't want that. You want to have a nice slow push into the pedal so you don't get that shh. If you hear that shh, let off and get back on again because that uh, it makes a big difference with your braking um, distances if you can find that fine point where you hit the brake and you don't get that lock up in petrol we trust what's going on oh we just finished up the swift we almost pulled off a podium in the swift we got a fourth place in it so it will hold the tires to the last lap but uh i say try it it's fun yeah that's very true that's very true the wet line versus the wet line it's the drying line that gets tricky when you're on when you have to switch over to those whatever slick tires hards mediums or softs and you touch that wet line it's just oh it's so easy to end it <laughs> yeah you missed it it was a good race though we had a pretty good battle a couple mistakes but uh, we probably should have had a podium but uh it wasn't bad we're in the genesis now this is gonna be the last race though it's already 11:30. I can get this one done before 12. Jump in the car and book it to the hospital. And then try and find my dad's room in the hospital. That could be uh, a feat in itself. Thank you, Tom. Thank you to everybody who hit that like button. New subscribers, thank you, thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. Brake balance to the back with it. I was just going to wait to see what the tires did and then swap it on that. Yeah, the Alpha 4C is good, but there's definitely other cars that are competitive with it. I didn't do that very well. The Alpha is really good on the tires. And you can get on the power really early in these corners. Doesn't want to step out on you or anything. I haven't tried the Supra. The Supras look like they struggle a little bit at the end of the race. Peace out there, Tom. Thanks for popping in, saying hi. Hope you have a good rest of your day. All right, last race, starting in 10th in the Genesis. We are going up with DR a little bit. Thank you, Mac. <laughs> He's back. Could you tell us? Oh, are you in here? <laughs> well, I got a few in here. Mick last place. Getting hungry, too. Might be able to eat some actual real food today without it killing me. I'll tell you what, man. Cinnamon sugar toast is all I ate yesterday. That's it. And it's brought me back to life. I was going to stream yesterday, but my gosh, I nope. Wasn't happening. I was a wreck yesterday. Mexico was trying to evacuate out of my body. <laughs> it was not pleasant. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's see how we do here. Let's put it to three to the rear for now. Get that radar on. Our 
already get tire wear on that front left. Yeah, like I said, man, just if you're not in a huge rush for it, I would wait on anything Fanatec for a little while, but it is interesting looking at both sides of the coins. If people start pulling out, that means they're not getting money in. Does that make it harder for them to pay these debts off to the bank? Oh, Jesus, you broke really there. And if you keep your money in it, will you ever see it? the product or your money back. It's like, that's a damned if you do and damned if you don't kind of situation right there. Got a Twix in your cupboard? <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't think it'll fail either. They got too much sponsorship out there. Too much going on. It's, it's a company worth saving, that's for sure. And the banks don't want Fanatec to claim bankruptcy because then they'll lose a bunch of money too, right? So... It's in everybody's interest to keep it going. Whether I'd invest my money into it now, and I don't know. I would. I think if I had money, I would be uh, buying that new DD Extreme or whatever. If I had lots of money. Man, they're so delicioso. Oh, another, another candy bar I really like is the Big Turk. That chocolate covered gummy stuff. Oh, hell's the uh, yeah. Sounded very ditty. <laughs> oh man, all the drama going on with that guy too. Holy shish kebabs. The whole East Coast rap group is falling. Falling by the wayside. Proud to say I've always been a West Coast <laughs> fan myself. Oh yeah, that's some craziness happening there with Mr. Diddy. Diddler Diddy. <laughs> craziness. What did 50 Cent say? He stopped uh, trusting Diddy when he got Tupac killed. <laughs> Cat Williams started it all. Cat Williams started it all. one interview with him. You got to tell Diddy no. You just got to say no. <laughs> Turkish Delight. Yeah, that's the same kind of thing. Oh, I love those things, man. So good. So good. Those are good if you put them in the freezer, too. This thing is really eating up that front tire. Yeah, that's exactly it, buns. 
it's big enough where it if it did though that's a major sign of the economy though if a company like that just closed its doors and bankrupt and left everybody screwed that's a big sign of the state of our economy and it's not a good thing if something like that happens freeze a turk <laughs> i don't want a big turk Definitely need to get their shit in a pile, that's for sure. Waiting for me, waiting three weeks for emails back is like, well, it was February 7th when my DD Pro died. And I still haven't got the information to ship it back. It should be the next email. Alright, I think we're gonna go for the pits here. Get a stupid penalty at the last moment, you dummy. Alright, we're gonna risk the biscuit and not change tires. Till June 30th, eh? <laughs> no, Diddy. Just say no. Will Jay-Z fall with Diddy? Diddy's taking everybody down with him. He's got receipts. Peace out there, Kiwi. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks for popping in, saying hi. race. This thing's worse than the Lamborghini and the Swifty. Yeah, that's what he says anyway. Ah, if you're in a situation like that, why not, right? Take them all down. <clears throat> Don't think this thing's tires are going to last to the end of this race, but... Ah, let's give it a try. Gotta leave me some room there, homie. Gotta leave me some space there, Sean. If you wanna go two by two, gotta leave the space.
Screw that up. This thing's pretty slow in fifth gear. Sean here. Got to race smart with my tire here. There ain't much left of it. It's weird though with the amount of tire wear on that thing it doesn't feel crazy understeer either. Nothing left for tire. The race isn't with you, Sean. It's with my tires. Goodbye, tire. Goodbye. So, Genesis cannot do it on tires. Yeah, tires are toast. I figured it would be kind of like the Lamborghini, but nope. The front left is done on this thing. Definitely feeling it now, that's for sure. The Geta will probably have us by the end of this lap. No tire left. It's officially gone.
just frustrating this guy probably so much. It's a big car to get around, that's for sure. Good racing there. Good racing. Good job, Vegeta. No worries, man. That's what I'm here for. I don't mind being the guinea pig on stuff like that. Good job, Vegeta. Around the outside. I tried to make it wide, but he got it. He got it. I'll take it, though. All right. Ten more minutes. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Flip that over to there. Looks like everything's still good. I can't believe I had to rebuild this whole damn stream this morning. Rebuilt everything. <clears throat> this camera wasn't working for some reason or another. Alright guys, that is going to be it for me. Thank you all to came back. To who came back and uh, came to hang out with me. Appreciate you so, so much. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same time place same bat channel you know it i'm gonna mess around with this one again you guys throw some more cars at me but oh yeah check that out too first day in mexico i slammed my finger in the door of a flipping cab oh it felt amazing <laughs> but thank you all for all the kind comments about my dad and all that stuff but uh we're glad to be back in canada glad to have him home so that's where i'm off to now I'm gonna go visit pops in the hospital before i go uh pick up the children but anyway that's it for me guys peace out Remember to keep it greasy, everybody. Have a good one.